Hey everyone, uh, Swiss Experiments, Nico here. I am going to show you something now. Uh, I'm going to go straight forward with it. Uh, I have a laser diode that takes 4.65 amps uh, and it's a blue laser, NUBM49, $12 on eBay. And I want to test drive it at 1 amp using this buck driver that I got off of eBay as well. This is my power supply that I built myself and um, I set the output voltage at about 8 volts there you go and limited the current at about 1.5 amps just to be, be sure um, and these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 diodes um, they will drop the tension uh, by about four and some volts which is what the blue laser uh, works at i think it's about 4.5 volts depending on, on how much current is flowing through it uh, but yeah uh, this is like a good test load for up to one amp because these diodes take one amp at most uh, and hold on let me pause the video for a second because i gotta hook it up all right done I uh, only have one free hand. So uh, this is on amp meter mode and I can go up to 20 amps. I'm not gonna do it for, uh, well, not at 20 amps and definitely not for long, but yeah, let's see. I already reduced the output voltage at about five volts as well. And uh, I set the current at 500 milliamps. There we go, short circuiting it at half an amp and so it can take it now I want to go up until I hit about one amp and to do that I need to take this very little tiny screwdriver and turn this one up and I can only do it one-handed um, with the phone so I'm gonna have to pause it for a second but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, load the driver and then go up and up until that reaches about, eh, I'll do 900 milliamps, maybe a little bit more, or a little bit more. And um, yeah, one second guys. All right. Um, shorting it at 0.98. That's good enough for me. And this is gonna drive the laser at about one amp. And well, let's see what happens when we do that. I did mess around a lot with this diode over here. Um, I had to drill this hole wider because I couldn't fit the leads through it. And uh, I had to press it in. Well, it took a bit to get it done. But here's one important thing right now. So I'm gonna turn this one off. There's a small switch over there. And now, you'll see one thing. Let me switch this one to volts DC. So the voltmeter. So the output is still sitting at one volt, it's slowly dropping. I believe there's a um, resistor at the output that's discharging the caps. But to ju just to be sure, you want to take a jumper cable real quick and short the output so you're sure that the voltage is now going to be zero all right you don't want to risk uh, basically destroying your uh, diode because there's stored uh, energy in the caps that rushes in in your diode and kills it all right so now give me one second i'm gonna Put on my safety goggles and uh, set everything up and then we'll do the test. All right, the diet is set up. This band is only so that I know that this is the positive lead because both wires are black. But yeah, it's fine for now. Uh, I don't need this anymore. And I also have this well, orange orange, well, 
glass, well not glass, but mask in a way. And I can use this to sh shield the camera and so you can see the dot. I'm gonna switch the, well I'm gonna first switch the diode on. There we go. And protect the camera. All right, as you see, it's burning. And that's just one amp. It's pretty sick. Let me switch it off. not really hot which is good and well yeah everything seems to be working fine look at that so yeah this diet is good to go I think I'm gonna be um, heat sinking it way more I'm gonna be testing it with higher and higher uh, currents and eventually it should just work at five plus watts which is gonna be very, very interesting to see. All right, that was the video for the NUBM49, how to test load the driver and how to eventually hook up the laser and fire it um, to see if everything works. Um, like the video if you do like the video, let me know in the comments if you uh, would do anything differently or if you, um, I don't know, have anything to let to tell me. And otherwise, thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.